My goal is to make this um, under 40 minutes, right? We have a lot going on. Absorbing information can be hard. And, you know, if you miss any information, um, we're going to send out the slide deck and resources. Okay? Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Um, so I mentioned my name is Kate. Um, I am in charge of kind of the membership experience at CSTA. We have two different types of membership talk memberships I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, but primarily, I'm interested in making sure that you're well supported. And uh, we'll talk about um, kind of what that means, different resources, um, either free, discounted, um, or at a, a low cost. We're really trying to make sure teachers are well supported. This is a really hectic time and um, computer science is incredibly important and we know you don't get paid enough and so we're really trying to um, do all that we can to make sure that you have a really strong experience and a community um, because teaching computer science is very difficult. Um, so on that note, uh, Jason, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi everybody. My name is Jason Bohr. I'm the Chapter Relations Manager here at CSTA. That means I uh, work with uh, over 90 chapters now that are across the United States and Canada. I was a computer science and English teacher in Northern California for about a dozen years. So this is just uh, the next evolution in my CS journey. I'm happy to join you and welcome you aboard and uh, get you more involved here at CSTA. Thanks, Jason. And Jason is in, are you, I think you're in California now? I'm in Alabama right now by way of California. I was born and raised in Sacramento, California. And that, like I said, I taught in Northern California, but I'm in Alabama at the moment. Nice. Awesome. And um, a lot of our headquarters is in Chicago, but we're also all over the uh, United States. So happy to have everyone on the call today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so this is our quick agenda for today. We're going to talk about what is CSTA, what are you getting into, what to expect. Um, and what that means is talking about different membership benefits, right? The great part of what we offer is a lot of professional development and connection with other CS teachers. That is what we're all about. We're going to talk with Jason about chapters and kind of what that means um, and kind of the really nice flexibility to chapters and uh, kind of differentiating maybe what you think of you know, clubs or chapters or membership from other associations. Uh, we're going to talk about resources as well as how to engage with CSTA and some quick next steps. Awesome. Okay. All right. So uh, this is just a slide on what is CSTA. It came from an interest group of uh, ACM, which you may have heard of before. It's um, on the East Coast, but it was a special interest group of computer science teachers and uh, they really found that there was no central place for computer science teachers to find connections and resources. And a lot of the times you're the only computer science teacher at your school and you don't have that support system. And a lot of our staff and members have experienced that or you were told that you are now a computer science teacher. So figuring out how do I navigate this? How do I get the resources I need? And there are other teachers out there like me, how can I connect with them? So that's what CSTA is about. Um, the really great thing is we're mission and value driven um, where your experience and um, you know, our values is focused around, it's driven by teachers. And um, I'm happy to say it's a, a wonderful place to kind of connect with other teachers and being part of the uh, 2020 virtual conference this past year, um, was amazing just getting to meet all the different types of, um, you know, CS teachers in their journey and uh, you know, you definitely belong here and there is someone who is experiencing exactly what you're experiencing right now and we'll connect you. Great. So kind of next step here is we have a fun picture here um, on my right hand side of some uh, computer science honor society students, which we'll talk about later, pre COVID. Um, but what to expect with my membership. Um, so we'll go through some of these things today, but we'll talk about, you know, you actually get an online profile and what that means, what do you have access to with that, um, things like that. Um, getting the latest in industry and news and updates. We'll talk about all the communications um, that you'll be receiving monthly or bi-monthly. Um, networking opportunities. How do you find other teachers um, in your area? How do you connect with teachers regionally? We'll talk about that. Um, and then we'll talk about the chapter experience with Jason in terms of this is what um, kind of what chapters are about and what to expect. Um, so this is kind of just kind of to digest this information is this 
your membership is really, um, you know, we offer a lot of opportunities to connect and grow and kind of the more you find um, what you need and what works for you is the more possibilities there are here, right? So we know you don't have a lot of capacity, but you could just start with just reading what we have and kind of moving forward from there, right? We're here to support you wherever that journey is. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate throughout this presentation, um, either doing the presentation, the slides, or showing you visuals. I'm someone where I want to see examples because we get a lot of text and I don't have time to read everything, right? We want to kind of be able to adjust, okay, how do I navigate this and what should I be taking from um, this slide or this information? So we have this website, right? csteachers.org, that's how you kind of found us today um, or you kind of made an online profile is right now, what the website really does is it kind of helps you navigate. Um, you have an online profile as well as navigating um, event calendar and navigating resources. And so the next slide, um, I'm gonna show you in person kind of where to log in, update your contact information as well as preferences, um, accessing benefits and how to join a chapter. Um, while this isn't perhaps the most exciting part, is this is kind of like your online business card um, in the CS world here. It's how to connect with other teachers, and it's how you tell us how you want to receive information, as well as, hey, I want to be part of maybe a new online discussion board. Um, the information I put in about what grades I teach, where I teach, and what chapter I'm in, is how I can find out to be in different groups and connect with teachers virtually. So I'm gonna go ahead, I should be still sharing. Yes, okay, awesome. Is I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So anytime you are on csteachers.org, it's in the upper right-hand corner, it's the login button. From there, you're gonna see a screen like this. And anytime you forget your login information, you can click forget login, okay? And you can also select keep me logged in if you're like me and forget your passwords. So I'm gonna go ahead and click login. And uh, we'll just kind of go over a few logistics uh, on here. Okay, so go to the member tab. All right, so this is what um, kind of my, so I am a plus member. This is what my online dashboard looks like, right? And so I think the first bit of information to kind of digest is, um, yes, you can have a profile picture, is you can edit your contact information. And by doing that, I click edit. And I can go ahead and say, hey, you want to change my username? That's just what you use to log in. We recommend your email address to make it easy. You can change your password, um, your contact information. Um, we're not going to send you anything in the mail or anything like that. But I would say in terms of um, your email address and kind of updating your picture is the most uh, important part here. OK, so that's kind of how to edit things. On this page, there's a lot of different um, dashlets or boxes of information. I think the most important thing to kind of take in is on this page, you can join a chapter. And we'll kind of talk about that uh, in a few minutes. But you can see um, your membership information here. You can actually, if uh, you need to, um, there is a way on here. Yeah, you can also get a membership card. We can either produce that for you or it's on this page. And you can see what events are coming up. So not super exciting, we can also access your CSTA Plus benefit page here. So this is all available for free, basic members and plus members. And navigating this is important when we'll talk about a little bit later and kind of the virtual discussion board here. Awesome. And then as you have questions, go ahead and throw them in the chat. Jason will try and answer and I'll call out things as I see them. Okay, great. All right, preferences, great. All right, the other thing I wanted to show on here, which is tomorrow um, I'm having a CSTA Plus webinar, which we'll talk about what are the benefits. Anybody's welcome. It'll be recorded and sent out to basic members um, and Plus members probably next week. But if you are a Plus member, we'll talk about what that means in a couple of slides. You can also access all these additional benefits and discounts and resources down here on this dashlet. And if you're a basic member, you can upgrade at any time from this page as well. And then you can go view the quick links um, and you can join a chapter, view chapter events, um, contact us here, uh, as well as um, we have a very small CSTA store that has a couple products in which you can purchase. Great, awesome. Thanks so much, everybody. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this screen here. Yes, it should be loading, okay. Awesome. All right. So I kind of mentioned CSA Plus and basic. 
And I think the way to kind of digest what these different terms means is we know as a teacher, you don't get paid enough. <laughs> and so that's why we have a basic membership where if you're unable to afford, um, you know, a membership that's it's anything more than zero is we know what it's like. I, I was a, a teacher for a little bit as well. It, you don't get paid enough. And so the different membership types support different things. So if you're a basic member, you can obviously um, still get updates and communications and access to resources. We know how difficult that is to get the PD resources you need, and there is a lot available. So on today's webinar, I'll go, or I'll go ahead and show you some free resources for basic members. Um, as well as looking at this, I just want to say with PLUS membership, um, essentially what it is, uh, it's $50 a year, and half of that due dues goes towards supporting um, regional chapter grants. So if you're part of a chapter with CSTA, you can apply for a chapter grant to put on a week-long PD event, which South Carolina just did. Um, I think the other thing to highlight about this is um, besides the dues supporting that chapter grant is it supports our equity work and programs around um, computer science, um, the equity fellows, as well as our honor society, uh, our honor society. And uh, last note is you get a lot of free and discounted items. Um, so we know it's hard to get PD at perhaps an affordable price and there's so many things out there now. What I wanted to point out on this page, things that I find very valuable is plus members get access to all the videos from the virtual conference, as well as some very valuable um, PD opportunities such as Pluralsight. I'll show an example in the next couple slides, as well um, as a discount on a CS Praxis exam course um, with we teach uh, down in Austin. It's virtual, but um, you get a hundred dollar discount. So there's lots of value here, um, lots of things to explore. Um, again, we send out information all the time, but it, it's what fits your needs, right? We're not going to try and push you to, to do anything. So exciting part is I wanted to show kind of some examples of these benefits so you know um, how to kind of use your membership the best and kind of navigating it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, kind of a newer resource. This is available on our website. So I'm gonna expand it a little bit here. So this is under the tab CS standards and resources, standards for teachers, is this is something that was developed um, fairly recently. It's a reflective kind of guide for teachers to kind of do um, kind of this work around reflecting of your, your strengths and how your past year went. It's probably the best time to do this before the school year is kind of really ramping up and we're navigating what that, that, that looks like. So this is a new um, kind of resource on um, kind of moving forward with that and a roadmap for professional learning. I'll go ahead and uh, kind of scroll down here. This was kind of developed by our uh, education director as well as with a couple other um, CS professionals. It is a really great resource to kind of figuring out how to grow um, professionally um, within the CS spectrum. The other thing I wanted to point out that's free on our website is, again, under CS standards and resources, is the professional development opportunities. I think we see so many different um, resources out there that it can be overwhelming. And I think when COVID hit, it was everyone was offering us free <laughs> things. But what really is a value and what is sustainable for ourselves, our classrooms, and our teachers? Um, and so this is a really great resource in navigating um, kind of existing PD opportunities. So an independent committee of um, teachers and those in kind of the, the CS um, you know, industry went through uh, all of these different um, you know, organizations or programs that offer PD for CS teachers. And kind of each one of these cards, you can use this kind of filter uh, interesting toggle up here to figure out, okay, I am a high school teacher. I'm looking for something that's free. And um, this is the format I'm looking at. I'm looking for, uh, let's do online. Um, <laughs> and what's available, right? So I can see that uh, the recommendations are CMU Academy, Code HS, and CompuSkill, and Tinker. So all of these um, kind of organizations um, came to us and applied to say, hey, I want to be reviewed by this committee, and they were moved on to the next step. So I think this is a fantastic resource to kind of think about how you want to grow as a CS teacher. So that was kind of some resources that are free to anyone. 
And the next thing I want to highlight, um, which is one of my favorite plus benefits, is Pluralsight. Has anyone heard of Pluralsight before? I know I had it. Um, the best way I think to define it is it's, um, I see Jason put a thumbs up, is a kind of a, a Netflix of online courses um, with a lot of CS courses. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to that screen. Um, and so this is a resource that's available for any CSTA Plus member, and we show you how to access it, how to get to it, all that. But this is a screen that I'm already logged in, and um, it's connected to all these different channels. And so these different channels where it's, you know, if you're looking for exam prep in terms of these different categories, um, is it has all sorts of courses to help you on your journey. So this is why I called it kind of a Netflix of CS courses. The other thing that's really great, um, and these are kind of evergreen, they're always on here and we're trying to kind of update them as things come, is um, you can save them as well as, um, I don't know if you can download them, but you could go ahead and kind of bookmark this page and kind of continue to learn that way. The other thing I will say about Pluralsight that's really nice as a PLUS member is um, you have access to the entire platform at a discounted rate. Um, I think it's something very expensive, like $5.99, like the regular price for full for full plural site, um, but it's $99 for plus members. So with that, you get access to over 6,000 courses. Um, so I am not, I don't have a CS background, but Jason, do you have maybe a suggestion for something for me to search here? No, I just went right in and dove in <laughs> to the first one I found just to see what it was all about. Yeah, I mean, I think the the thing is like depending on what you're trying to learn or kind of um, kind of continue to grow in, there's a course for you out here, and uh, we've heard nothing but great things from our teachers. So I wanted Fred to kind says of share. to search Java, Kate. J -A -B -A. Java, okay. Yeah. Awesome. So how about we just oh. Things are happening. Yeah, thanks. I sometimes it shows I don't have a CS background. Um, let's take a look here. All right, so it looks like there is tons of different pathways that came up. I don't have the full platform, um, and I think it would look different if you did have the full platform. So these are pulling up um, some of the courses that may be free or that are included in the um, kind of full. Um, full library, um, but we actually think I have a recording of a webinar we did with Pluralsight on like how do I navigate the full uh, library, but um, incredibly useful um, and easy to use and navigate. So great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on to keep us on target, but I love showing examples because um, I think it's really important to kind of absorb what is the benefit for me and how can I grow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let Jason kind of take over and talk about chapters. Uh, hi, everybody. So the next step in your journey, now that you're a CSTA member, will be to try to get connected to your local chapter. And unless you live in Montana and South Dakota, every other state has a, at least one chapter. And right now, pretty much all the chapters are meeting remotely. So you can get connected on that page. I'll share a link in a minute uh, to find your local chapter. And you just type in the two letter state code and you'll get every chapter that's available in your state. Some of the bigger states like uh, California, you know, have several chapters. Uh, Florida, New York have several chapters, but some states like Indiana, Oregon, Nevada, they have one central chapter and they reach out to all the corners of the state. So guaranteed you'll be able to find a chapter that's right for you. And the benefit of getting connected to your local chapter is you get that more localized PD, that more localized support, you know, your state knows your state standards, your state knows all the free PD and the sponsored PD from Department of Education that's out there. So uh, you really wanna get connected to your chapter and you'll start receiving some emails from them. Uh, most chapters are doing virtual meetups right now. You can find them on the events calendar sometimes. Sometimes they post them on the website. When you join a chapter, They'll be notified that you join a chapter. A chapter leader might reach out to you and welcome you to the chapter, or they might just, it might just send you to the chapter's website. And the three pillars here for chapters are building community, providing PD and support, and then you know, establishing a connection with CSTA National 
because like Kate says, you know, we have grant money that we can give to chapters for all kinds of things, uh, not just week-long PD events, but uh, we give chapter grants sometimes just for food at a in-person meetup when we get back to those or for gift cards for virtual meetups so that you can grab a Starbucks, you know, on the way home to your CSTA virtual chapter meetup. Uh, what you'll find is this is becomes your department, you know, because a lot of time at your schools, you're in that department of one. And these chapters can become your CS department because there'll be people from nearby schools, nearby districts, or at least in the state, you know, in some cases. So I really want to encourage you guys to find your local chapter. If you need help finding your local chapter, I can help you. Uh, but again, I'll post that link in the chat here about uh, that'll take you right to the search for your chapter page. Do you want me to keep going, Kate? We could talk chapters and, all night. Yeah, and I think the, the if I can interject, um, I can show that find your chapter page if that's helpful. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? And yeah, then I'll, I'll I think because the then it's easier to navigate. And I, I will say, I think um, I, I came from Rotary International. It's like that club structure is what's really cool about CSTA is, um, you know, there's a little, um, a little more flexibility of uh, joining chapters and when you can attend and you know how active you are is you aren't going to be kicked out of a chapter and I think that is something that flexibility is, is really nice. And the thing is you can join more than one chapter you know mm -hmm. uh, I know lots of people that are in you know Florida has three chapters I'm sure there's people in Florida that are in all three. So when you get to this find your chapter page I just posted the link the best way to search is right there in that state just by putting the two digit or two letter state code. So Kate, why don't you just do a CA since I'm used to that one. And what you'll see is all the chapters uh, across California. I believe there's 10, we're working on an 11th one. So, you know, depending on if you're in Northern California or Southern California, that's a good place to start. If you're in the Bay Area or the Los Angeles area, you know, major metropolitan areas that have more than one chapter, even in that area. And then once you find the chapter that you're looking for, you click on view more and you'll see that gray button that says join chapter. And if you're logged in, all you have to do is click that gray button. If you're not logged in, it will say log in to join chapter. So it's really only a couple, couple steps. And like I said, you're welcome to join more than one so that you can, you know, kind of see who's doing what and how close they are to you. And again, Right now, it's kind of an interesting time because since everything's virtual, mm -hmm. you know, we're not really tied to those geographic boundaries. I know lots of chapters are welcoming people from other states and other chapters to join them at their virtual meetups. So if your chapter isn't real active right now, you're welcome to, you know, join a different chapter and see what they have to offer and then bring it back to your home chapter. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think um, a great example to kind of talk about is, you know, the... I think it's the northeastern region of CSTA chapters, they put on like an annual conference and they work together on virtual events. And so if you're looking for local PD, even in this strange virtual time is there's other CS teachers that are doing things and they might be the only teacher in their district or their school, but they're part of a chapter in a state. And now things being virtual, things are a little bit more accessible. So join some chapters, um, see what feels good, right? What kind of activities are going. And I think Jason, the other thing maybe if you want to touch on is, you know, what if somebody is in Montana or in Brazil or somewhere like what should they do? So uh, if you're international, I would love to help you start a chapter internationally. You can just reach out right to me and we'll figure that out because we're looking to start some international chapters. Uh, if you're in Montana or South Dakota, again, reach out to me and let's start a chapter there. All right. You can find chapters nearby. North Dakota just started a chapter. So if you're in South Dakota, you can you can get with them. But I, 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 I would love to start chapters in South Dakota and Montana. So everywhere. If you're, in, if you're in one of those, those are the last two, the last two we got. We're, we're so, we're so close. Um, Jason, thanks so much. Do you want to go, did you go ahead and drop your, we have it at the end of the slide deck, your contact information, but do you want to go ahead and maybe drop it in the chat now? Yeah, I'll put it in there. I was Great. just going to put in the New England chapters uh, conference that's coming up. Yeah, they have, just, there's, all sorts of things uh, kind of coming up and uh, we're going to mention a couple different events uh, throughout this presentation as well. Um, and I think maybe um, 
not sure if it's now or later, we'll talk about like, hey, I want to join like a networking event and um, I'm in Brazil or somewhere else and I can't, I would like that networking time. Is there an event for me? Yes, there is. We'll talk about it in a little bit. So I think the next slide to kind of keep us on target is I just kind of want to talk about managing expectations of what resources and uh, communications you're going to get from us. And, um, you know, I will share this slide deck, but kind of to start, you will probably already be receiving the CSTA. It's a uh, CS Today. It is a weekly newsletter that goes out that uh, we put in some information, but it's kind of gather gathering regionalized CS uh, information from kind of where you're from and nationally that goes out weekly um, and if it's ever something you're not really interested in you can always unsubscribe next thing to kind of uh, be excited about is the voice it's a monthly newsletter that goes out on I believe the first Saturday of the month and that has curated content it's just CSTA sometimes it includes um, kind of articles from board members as well as kind of interviews and it's going to talk about hey what's going on at CSTA um, what should I be looking for to what events are going on. Um, great resource and we have all the archives on our website as well. So if you want to kind of, you know, do, if you're interested in doing some light reading, uh, that has all that information there. We also share out, you know, any events or kind of big resources that are happening um, on our social media as well. Um, and so I have that later on in the bulletin, but I would say um, our Twitter is a really great place to kind of look for resources as well as um, kind of information sharing. I know a couple of our volunteers lead um, CS uh, K through eight chats monthly. So if you are a teacher that teaches elementary through middle school, there are chats on Twitter monthly where you can kind of connect. Uh, to kind of move along, we'll talk about, uh, or I guess another thing to kind of mention is uh, you'll get any emails about any events that are going on. So for the conference, you'll hear about, um, you know, all the different rates and opportunities coming up. Um, Hopefully you would have received by now, uh, we are having a virtual summit, um, I believe on September 12th. And so this is kind of a half day summit on teaching virtually with some experts in the field around CS, you know, lessons and things we've learned and uh, other things to kind of uh, learn and move from. The nice thing is if you're a plus member, it's only $5. If you're a basic member, it's $20. And um, you should have received a welcome or an invitation for that. If not, it's on the events tab, which I should uh, probably show kind of a, a quick tutorial for that as well. Uh, moving on, if you're a PLUS member, you get a couple other uh, newsletters, one saying, hey, this has resources and new information, as well as ACM Inroads Magazine. It's kind of a uh, research magazine and we have all uh, past subscription um, articles and things like that. Uh, and then Jason mentioned if you're part of a chapter, you get chapter newsletters and bulletins. So they're going to say, hey, we have a virtual event going on, a virtual meeting, a happy hour, whatnot. So once you join that chapter, you'll be getting communications from them. Awesome. Okay. I think uh, maybe a good breaking point is to show you on kind of the home screen. And uh, hopefully I'm not going too fast. Again, I love showing visuals. Is under the about tab under events. I just wanted to show you um, kind of on this page, you can kind of see all the national and most regional events. It's really up to the chapter leaders if they're using this um, kind of calendar. And so I wanted to show you here is, uh, there's a couple of different ways to look at it, but I wanted to point out, you know, today we're going through, um, where are we? We are the 25th, what is day? It's pandemic, um, is we're, you know, doing the new member orientation. Tomorrow is a webinar on CSA Plus membership, but you can also see that um, different states are posting things here. Um, Jason, this might be a good time if you wanna talk about the uh, Engage Meetup, because now we're looking at this for next week. Sure, next week we're having another meetup that you can be a part of. It's, it's a little less talking at you and a little more uh, participation. Mm -hmm. uh, we host it on the same platform that we did our conference on, that hop-in platform. So if you were at our conference, uh, you got to play around in there. It's a great platform, a little more interactive than, than Zoom is. Uh, we do some networking, so you'll get to do some uh, what we call CSTA speed dating or chat mm -hmm. roulette and you'll get partnered up with somebody randomly and you get three or four minutes to talk to them and you can uh you know introduce yourself tell them where you're from tell them what you teach 
and then we'll, we usually have uh, some PD highlighted. Mm -hmm. uh, this next month, we're having an industry partner join us, Tanium, their Ooh. cybersecurity firm. <laughs> uh, they're going to share a little bit about what they do. Uh, they're going to talk about uh, visiting classrooms if, if you want them to join your classes and talk to your students about cybersecurity. And then we'll host some breakouts, some uh, kind of birds of a feather, you know, on conference type breakouts at the end. So it's about an hour and a half. Uh, it's split into about three equal sessions, and it's a really good time. We're trying to host them every month. Uh, we did have some lessons last month. Uh, some I can share links to those as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just another way to get involved. Uh, if you're looking for ways to get involved virtually, it doesn't take a lot of time, uh, you know, once a month. And uh, you can bring that stuff back to your chapter, or you can come find us if you haven't found your chapter yet or your chapter isn't active at the moment because we're just getting back started with the new school year. So we'd love to yeah. have you and I'll share a link in the chat for that as well. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, I think um, this ties into our conversation around like, okay, if I don't have a chapter, I still want to kind of like maybe get my toes wet, connect with other teachers. Is This is a great spot, starting spot strict starting spot <laughs> and um, we record any of the nifty lessons and it's a great way to kind of connect um, you know virtually uh, doing you know the networking that's kind of cool if you didn't attend conference there was a networking feature where you could talk with uh, you know it would pair you with another teacher for four minutes right and you could share contact information and kind of connect it was really really fun um, the CSTA engage meetup is free um, so just kind of highlight that. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jason. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk next about, you know, kind of engaging with CSTA. You know, your journey is kind of your first absorbing information as a member, seeing like, what, what do I need to become, uh, you know, on my CS journey. But uh, another kind of thing to consider is, you know, maybe in a few months or a year, you want to get a little bit more involved. There are some really great opportunities for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share the page where this is. We have um, kind of a nice central uh, kind of starting spot now where if you are interested in kind of um, joining a committee or perhaps you've experienced at another association or you've experienced with like a CS nonprofit is we have this engage page. And so essentially what this means is finding perhaps a volunteer opportunity that works best for you. We know you're getting kind of up into gear with the school year. So this is just something to think in the back of your mind. I will call out on here, are there, opportun there are opportunities that are very minimal in terms of time commitment, what we're looking for right now is uh, we would love to have some more honor societies, uh, kind of uh, apply and honor society advisors. I have a slide on that in a little bit, um, but we always need reviewers. So reviewers for proposals for sessions at conference. So we're kind of already starting to think about conference for next summer is what kind of sessions do we need? What did we miss on this year? And um, if you, you know, have one or two hours a month and want to review applications and get ideas, or even submit, this is the page to go to. And um, we uh, love new voices and experiences. So there's a nice, easy pathway to get involved, um, depending on what your experience and capacity is. So I wanted to point out um, kind of this page. And uh, yeah, I think um, we're, we definitely need uh, reviewers for awards as well as conference proposals. So putting that out there. Awesome. All right. Next thing I wanted to kind of highlight. Um, thanks as I thanks for your patience as I bounce back and forth is I mentioned um, computer science honor society. And so I think this is um, really relevant. Uh, you know, if you're a CS teacher and you're at, um, you know, kind of the high school level so ninth through 12th grade. And so we worked with code VA last year to kind of help take this program over and essentially what it is. It's a honor society for, you know, students that are interested in uh, computer science. Um, you know, we try and keep the fee really low in terms of if you want to start an honor society, it's a one-time $150 fee. And then we kind of help support you in terms of resources, getting society set up. Um, and it's really kind of centered around um, service. So giving back to kind of the community, giving back to um, other students. So I think some examples here are we have over 163 honor societies um, within you know, North America right now. And uh, moving forward, what we've seen in terms of, you know, COVID era um, kind of uh, service projects is pairing up with libraries or with their school and teaching um, code 
over Zoom or kind of going through, um, you know, other CS concepts or volunteering. And so something definitely to check out. If you're interested in this and finding out more, we actually just had a webinar last week where we talked to current, um, uh, current advisors, one from Puerto Rico, um, a couple from the United States. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my contact information here. And so if you're, so thanks Jason for, for dropping that. So if you're interested in kind of finding out more information, I know we're throwing a lot at you today. Um, if you're interested in finding out more information, like, hey, I wanna copy that webinar, um, I want to see that slide deck, like what, what is this program about, is um, I went ahead and dropped an email address. Uh, Christine, I just saw your um, great question. It is run by an advisor. So we generally look for, um, you know, a member of our association to apply to become an advisor and start the society. Um, we are playing around with the concept of kind of like global or um, kind of uh, like the engage meetup like if you if you don't have a lot of CS students at your school or you have CS students but no advisor is can we play some matchmaking there um, so we're really looking for people to become advisors and start the honor society um, I've seen a society as large as um, 130 students so it's really cool concept. And again, this is a picture from uh, kind of pre-COVID of an induction. They had their induction and then they did a service project at their school and they got a local tech company to kind of donate some money for t-shirts. So kind of cool idea of getting students um, excited and we're really trying to grow the program to have more scholarships and grant opportunities. So something to, to think about. The next thing I wanted to point, about, point out about getting engaged is we have awards. And so we have a couple different awards on our awards page. I'll just go ahead and pull that up as well. Hopefully me doing this uh, kind of helps you start to think about navigating our website is we have awards throughout the year. But in talking about CS students is we have this Cutler Bell Prize. So start thinking about, hey, do I have some students that are like working on projects or really above and beyond is We'd love to have them apply for this Cutler Bell Prize. They're submitting a project um, and then it's reviewed by CS teachers. Um, other things to kind of keep in mind is um, we would love for you to kind of apply for these other CS awards. The CS Teaching Excellence Awards, and you can go ahead and click and toggle through these, is an opportunity to kind of recognize you for um, the outstanding work you're doing, uh, as well as the Champions of Computer Science Awards that's usually done during um, CS Education Week, and we'll have more information about that. We also need reviewers for these awards, but it's a, a nice way to kind of either, either uh, maybe um, you know, nominate yourself, nominate another teacher, and get some students involved. Great, all right, so we're gonna keep chugging along. But yeah, Honor Societies is great. And so I mentioned um, we're taking on that Engage page is we definitely need members to apply to become uh, committee members, but this application period is open now. So just something to kind of think about, um, you know, if you have capacity at, at a later point. Great, uh, so I did mention that we had a conference in July that feels like a very long time ago, <laughs> is we had uh, an amazing first virtual conference is uh, something I wanted to point out is we have these annually. Um, we have decided it's going to be in Chicago next year, but we shall see, right? There, this is a very uh, kind of strange time period. It might be hybrid, it might just be virtual, stay tuned. But um, something to kind of keep in mind is we like to keep the cost low um, in terms of your member. And if you're plus member, um, you get kind of even a lower discount. So that kind of ties into value and what you think is kind of worth it. Um, ways to kind of participate is we would love for folks to submit a proposal. So of an idea of, um, I would like to lead a workshop on this, or um, this worked really well in my classroom and this was like a short lesson and it tied into kind of uh, broader concepts of things that are going on. We are always trying to kind of push things forward. Um, all of these videos are available for PLUS members starting September 1st. Um, and Jason, how many hours would you say is that? Like, I don't even know. Hundreds. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of hours of content um, and you know some amazing sessions that happened this year focused around kind of um, equity and racism in CS and so talking about kind of these conversations of things that are going on now in your classroom is we have some really great 
content and things kind of planned around that in our keynote speakers. So would definitely encourage you to kind of like think about, you know, next year conference or if you're interested in um, kind of saying, you know, getting in sync with some of our videos here. Uh, next thing is again, our submitting proposals is we take any type of proposal suggestions and um, it's a great way to kind of grow professionally and uh, say you presented at a conference and um, the next step we're working on is trying to figure out how to get some of those like published and uh, figuring out how to get those kind of accredited. So very excited that we have this and it was an amazing opportunity. So next thing I wanted to point out is we kind of went through that login page is What's coming is hopefully next month, we'll have a virtual discussion board. And so there's lots of discussion boards and Facebook groups out here, but uh, CST is one of the largest groups of CS teachers um, around the world. And so this will be a place where if you're in a grade group of, you know, you're an el elementary school teacher is there will be a place just for you to be able to connect with other teachers. You can respond to posts by email, you can minimize your notifications, you can share resources, you can share um, lessons and videos, is it will be a nice kind of centralized location. So that's coming hopefully the end of next month. Really excited about that. That is free for all members. All members excited about that. Next thing I wanted to point out is we're launching a job board. Um, so if you're trying to figure out uh, what, you know, if you need to move schools or want to find something that's virtually is we're launching a job board in which um, you'll be able to see CS jobs that are posted and apply for them uh, at no cost. And then if your school is interested in posting a job, um, I think the fee is like $99. So there's a couple different things happening soon, but uh, definitely these are resources to help support you. And I'm really excited kind of for that next step. Great, so that was a lot of information. So I think what I wanted to highlight here on this slide is some takeaway steps. And so what I would say is if you haven't logged in already, log in, poke around, <laughs> send me an email that says, Kate, that doesn't make sense, or what does this do? This is what I'm here for. Um, and kind of add a picture. We are kind of slowly getting ready for that launch of the discussion board. We'll send you information about what's next, but um, we would love to kind of, you know, have faces to, to people on there. Um, next thing is support with your membership. If you have any questions or you're looking for uh, maybe at your school, you have a bunch of CS teachers and you all want to kind of join plus membership and there's eight of you and you want a discount send me an email. We are here to support you. And we know sometimes that um, accessibility and, and equity of, um, you know, finances, there isn't, there's a disconnect and we want to be able to support you. Um, next thing is we went over chapters is this is Jason's kind of contact for if you have questions around chapters, questions around international membership. He's also the um, kind of contact point for the engage meetups if you have any questions around there. And then I pointed out volunteer roles and I'll move this down and kind of, I pointed out a couple different um, PD resources on our website, as well as I talked about Pluralsight, but I will stop talking. Is there any questions that I have not um, covered or uh, questions that have come up and me talking about all the things I would love to cover them? Let's take a look here. All right, uh, first one. Oh, yes. All right, so I will start from the bottom up. Uh, yes, we are going to be, I'm going to be emailing everyone that um, either re that registered for this um, orientation as well as any new member since uh, our last orientation. So get the slide deck. Um, is there a interest in sending the recording or we just like the slide deck? I'm asking for some, some feedback because it's 45 minutes, so. I, I can send it, <laughs> but um, so that's, that's a uh, slide deck would be great. Awesome, thank you. Um, what is the cost of CST plus membership? Okay, recording, yes, thank you. I was like, I don't, I don't know if people are gonna watch it. Um, CST plus membership is $50 a year. It is good for a full 12 months. And um, I've tried kind of calculating the value, but um, it's at least a value of $180 if you look at kind of all the different discounts and plural site access. Um, I would definitely say it's worth it. Um, and we, we know that it can be a challenge. If there's any um, uh, Amazon future engineers or if you're with code.org, there are opportunities for them to sponsor your membership. Um, so something to think about there. 
Um, I will go ahead and look up at some of these other questions. We've talked about the cost, email. All right, I can't find a chapter near me. I'm in New Mexico. Jason, this is you. Are there, are there chapters in New Mexico? Uh, she already found it. I put it in there a couple links down. Oh my gosh, to never the mind. CSTA New Mexico. <laughs> you are all much, set. You're much faster than, than I am. Okay, uh, then I will go ahead and, all right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for joining us from Brazil. Uh, obrigado. Okay. Um, if there's, an, if I'm going to do a last call for questions, otherwise I will email this information uh, next week, the recording, um, the reminder about the engage, as well as the slide deck, but really happy to have you all here today and I'm really excited to kind of support you uh, in computer science. You guys do incredible work and um, I just uh, am really happy to kind of be here today. All right, let me look at the chat for any last minute questions. Oh, so many nice comments. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, you are free to kind of log off. I'm gonna end the webinar in like two minutes if there's any last questions. But yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Join your local chapters. Join your chapter. It's like we're driving away waving. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, yay. Oh, oh, Susan did. Great. Awesome. I mean, I joined some chapter in California during this call. Um, the, awesome. The well, closest chapter you join. <laughs> I, I joined a chapter every time I do this. Um, yeah, I appreciate everyone's time today. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen. But yeah, thank you so much. And uh, we look forward to having you as a member. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the call. Thanks, everyone. I know.